Alright guys, what is up? Jane Poop here, back with more Conker's Bad Fur Day. And in the last video, we have gotten through all of the Ugga Bugger chapter, which is the caveman based uh, chapter. And uh, uh, we saved this beehive again, stolen from the nasty wasps. And then, so in this video, we are going to see what we can do, aside from listening to this cool music. <laughs> Oh, there's some chocolate here. Okay. Uh, so, let's try and see. Oh, first, I want that tail. I really want that tail. From a dead scroll. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's from a dead scroll. It probably is, but I don't know. Right, let's see if we can go up to the barrel again, shall we? Uh, by successfully jumping over these. Oh no! Right, there we go. There you go. Now what? Huh? Wanna go for a ride? Uh, not really. Not really, what? Alright. Alright, yeah. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we do on Mr. Barrel. Other than the fact that we get the same music as you get when you piss. Um, we get to squash these. Then... Yep, do we still have the money? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Somehow we got it back. <laughs> um, so, yeah, now it's night time here. Uh, so, there were a couple of Easter eggs we could have shown off, but uh, in Windy, during only the daytime, in, uh, but, obviously not now. Beehive's still there. And, um... What does the poo area look like? Uh, barely see on my TV. Uh, I need to shut my blinds, but... Yeah, it's closed. We cannot go there. At all. It says back at 10. We can still go to the Great Mighty Poo area, but... But that's mostly because of the other bugger stuff. Um, uh, let's go to where. Uh, let's go this way. It's where we destroyed Mr. Barrel. Yeah, we have to continue on. Uh, this way, it's just a waterfall. And then let's carry on this way then. And which this way? <gasps> that. He looks familiar, doesn't he? Oh my god, these catfish look familiar as well. Look like the one that we almost got killed with. I don't bloody believe it. They've got fish fresh into the little bastards now. Come here. I'll show them. Get a hole. the little f***ers again. Ha, I got your number, mate. It's down to two for you. Ah, there's a waller. <laughs> yes, not blown for you now, you little prick. Okay. Yep, that's Greg. 
the Green Reaper, who we meet when we first die in the game. Yeah. Uh, there's a door here. Looks haunted. Anything here? No. Um, nothing there at all. Um, looks like there's something there. Try and go this way this time, and let's see. So the current is being weird, so we have to keep jumping. All right, it's a massive flower there. Wait, you cannot swim that way. Can we seriously not swim that way? Well, we're not going that way then. Um, I don't know where we can go then. Um, there's nothing down there. Not do anything there. Um, let's try and enter in the door. Nope, no, no success there. But well, there's something here. I don't know if that's where we got out. Well, let's. Oh. So we open the door. Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay. Um, right. So we need to get out of the shell. Um, let's go and meet Greg again, shall we? Let's see if he'll have something for us. on his nerves, and that's all right by me. And what was that about an ancestor? Undead ancestor. Hmm. Well, if he's undead, then technically that makes him kind of dead. Which means I should get the inheritance. I mean, how bad can a handful of dead people be? They're dead. Well, undead. Now, well, let's see. Shotgun. I think it's one of those bee-pressing moments, don't you? Hmm. Yep, we have a shotgun. We can obviously unequip it. So, now with our shotgun, we can now perfectly go through here. In a graveyard. It's where zombies come out. They will hurt you, so I recommend standing on top of a gravestone, if I can. There we go. And then get the shotgun out. Then I can aim it. And then hold the Z-Buttons, and then, then let go. Shoot them in the head. Uh, it's best if you shoot them in the head, so then... So then, you can literally insta-kill them. 
we go. And uh, you have infinite ammo, luckily, so your ammo's not limited. So that, that's good. And then we can go through here um, to this door. And I think we have to kill every zombie first. Um, so we're going to have to do that. If I can stand on top of this grave, there we go. Alright. Okay. You can pretty much see them from there. Three. Okay. Just shoot their heads, because it's better. You can shoot their other bodies as well, but they'll just stay alive. So it's best if you shoot their heads. Come on. Come the fuck on. Got ya. Then a lot of zombies come out. And then we can literally just stand up here. And just kill them all. My god. Wow. Basically a monster up here. Come on. Come on, you come here. Anything else? Oh, there. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Got you. Yeah, you're dead. No. Dead. Oh, for fuck's sake. Got you. Got your head. Head's like, rip apart. Come on. Oh my god, no! Should be easier. Okay, there we go. It's unfortunate you cannot shoot two at once. I don't think. No, you can only shoot one. Unlike in many games, but you can shoot more than one sometimes with one shot. Oh, I think I did man. Oh, no, I didn't. to do this a couple more times. So we don't have to kill them all. <laughs> I thought we have to kill them all before proceeding. Oh, this! No! It looks like another Mr. Barrel moment. Oh, boy. Okay. No, using your gun won't work on these. <laughs> Doubt it. No! No! 
Why is he there? Oh my god, the camera's being weird. It makes controlling difficult. Come on. Go that side. No! Oh my god! Thank god he froze me there. What? Again? Oh my god. Because they spawn when you're close. Makes it harder. Alright. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright. We should be able, we should be safe here. We can go in there, but first I want to see what's outside. Nothing. Okay, let's go inside. It's an interesting area. Welcome to my house. Please, enter of your own free will and bring with you some of the happiness that is so evident in your face and so lacking in my own. Oh, let me not get in there. Okay, I'll just cross this threshold here. Hmm, I'm sure that's of some significance. I don't think what it is. Anyway, <laughs> I fair do. What? Nothing. So, uh, seldom have visitors in these parts. Uh, but being out here in the middle of nowhere, on such a cold and gloomy night, pray, follow me. You look as if you're in need of sustenance, and I have many things to eat and drink. Pray, follow. Oh, okay. Food, yeah. Hey, gonna be sick of chocolate anyway. This way. As you can see, the house is in some part a state of repair. We're having a few refurbishments doing at the moment, and I was planning to have all this not true, to make one big car. But anyway, well, if I think so, if I just stick, so I can serve it away for the present. Ah, in my dining room. <laughs> No. I never drink wine. <laughs> so, um, um, who's this guy here? He looks, uh, he looks like you. Mm, my, uh, forefather. He was a crusader in a war of long ago. Went with the allies with the squirrels and the panthers. That union, alas, was not successful. Yeah, and they had really stupid teeth as well. Didn't they have any dentists back then? Yeah. Who are you to criticize me or my ancestors, whose blood runs in these veins? You are not of noble birth, and never will be. <sighs> Pray, uh, accept my apologies. Whenever you talk about my ancestors, I get uh, somewhat touchy. Oh, that's all right. I know how it is. Family. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you been here long? Mm. About 300 years. Really? <laughs> Quite a big family, then. No. It's just me. Oh. What's that noise? 
The children of the night. What sweet music they make. Music? The howling. <sighs> what is that noise? You sound like somebody's braying on the door. <laughs> they don't like you either, I take it. Oh, shit. The villages again. Sounds like there is more of them this time. This could be your lucky night, Conker. I was going to kill you and drink your blood. But now I think I'm needing your help. Pray, come here. Um, can we just go back a bit there? That drinking my blood bit? What's all that? About? I said, come here. And familiar, yes. I think you are my great, 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 great grandson, Conkle. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Welcome indeed. I have a little task for you. These little uh, villagers. Occasionally they pop up to my establishment for have a little fun and see if they can kill me. It's never worked yet. As you can see, I've had a few minor alterations to the house. They have the grinder. <laughs> and they have the pumps. And they have some other bits and pieces. It is your duty, your and indeed, the whole point of your existence as of this day is to fetch me the villagers, put them in the grinder, and let me feed. You may feed too if you wish, but only later. Well? Oh yes, I forgot. You can only speak like what you are. A bat. Oh no. Fell, chop, chop. Let's meet the villagers. I am hungry. Yep, we are a bat. And it's the only time the controls are like very different. So the controls are a bit weird. Uh so as a bat we can poop. <laughs> uh and this is what you have to do in order to get the villagers. So where the villagers are. You need to poop on them. And then. You know, you grab them. Or not. Um, oh, I keep getting shot. Oh my god. I've got this barrel there. Just poop everywhere. Oh, I'm trying to get him. He's so hard. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, we got him. Then, we take him to the grinder, which I believe is behind here. This cool haunted music. So then here, automatically grabs him, and then, you want to do this a couple of times, because that way you can kill him. Alright, I got him. Oh wow, we got him very quick. Got him there. I mean, you might have to bring more. So, there's another one there. 
Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Got him. Got him very quickly. Um, then we're just gonna bring him or her. I don't know what gender some of these villagers are, because that's hard to tell. More blood. The rope is going to rip. So we need to bring more, so then hopefully we don't know what's gonna happen, so I could have sworn there's more around here. Yep, there's another one there. Oh, oh, oh come on. Grab him. Okay, there we go, I got him. Got him. He's got a mustache. It's like a Hitler villager or something, I don't know. Um Gonna bring him up here. Oh my god, he's getting fat. Uh, he's chubby. That's why I don't recommend drinking a lot of blood. Okay. Oh, get, get through there. Oh my god. Uh, this way. There's gonna be more villagers around here. Oh, there's another one here. Okay, we got him. Or her. She looks like a lady. There's another one there. We're just mostly doing well so far. I've got one chocolate left, but... Then, chuck her in there. There we go. Alright, looks like we've got to do it a couple more times before he's dead. I'm pretty sure I saw another villager. Yep, he's there. I saw another one there. If I can get him. I died! Oh my god. I don't know if we die if we have to do it again. All again. Let's look at him. Ah, oh, we do, because he's normal size. Literally just um, is only just uh, uh, dodging their attacks because they can attack you. And I don't think you have any chocolate, so, so it makes it harder. There we go. Yeah, got it. Whoa! That was a great dodge. Okay. I don't know if let going of, let going of the button drops the villager. I think it does. So obviously it automatically lets go when you go to the grinder. So. Yeah, that's good there. Let's go this way. There's this none at the table. There's more villages there. Oh, I'm trying to poop on them. Oh, oh no! I, I can grab him. Sometimes it's good when you take damage because then you automatically go on the floor. Thus it's easier to grab them after you shout on them, so... Yeah. Let's put him in the grinder, so he can bleed to death, and he can be Count Bacula, yeah, that's his name, Count Bacula, taking more blood. I think it's two villages that make the pumps work, so we can find a few more here. I can... Can I get her, please? That's the other hard part, just grabbing them. When they're on the ground, because it's hard to, like, fly into them. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Uh, 
where's the villagers so they can have coronavirus? Okay, I had to, I had to get that out of the way, come on. There's more villagers here, I see. I see a couple of them here. You can also go outside and find villagers there, but I don't know if we all need to. No. Oh, right, got him. Oh no! No! Oh, because I got shot. So when you get shot, you automatically let go. Okay, it's this way. And there's another villager in here, I know. And you go in there. It's gonna drink more blood. One more. Well, obviously two more villagers, but but one more round. No, what? I thought I grabbed him. Okay, there we go. Now I did. Okay. Right. Then what? It should be one more villager, unless it's two more this time. Yeah, I think it's one more. Or it might be two more. I don't know. Is there any more around here? If there is, then we don't have to go outside. Well, right, there is clearly someone else in here. Yep, we, I think we can easily do this. What, what, what the fuck? Alright, shit on him. Shit on him. Come on. Come on, take a massive doo-doo. There we go. There we go, then grab him. And then, hopefully this is the last one. If so, then we don't even have to go outside, because you can go outside, which I forgot which way you go, but we all found out later, uh, to find more villagers there. Looks like we don't need to. <laughs> that doesn't happen to you every day. We're gonna have to explore this mansion a lot, unfortunately, because we are locked. Even with Count Bacula gone. So. So, um. There's some bat enemies as well, so. See what's this way? You can see there's three keyholes, and we need three keys. So, and every key is hidden. There's nothing this way. Oh shit! Um. Oh, oh god. Okay. Oh god. Luckily you don't automatically fall in the grinder. But if you do go in the grinder, you will obviously die, so... Yeah, there's the outside, it's this way, okay. You could also find the villagers here. And there's our key, there's the first key. Oh, I forgot we don't have a pan. It's just a, a gun. So. There's no zombies around here, so. I guess we're safe. There's probably zombies around here, though. That way we cannot really walk out of, so what about this way? Okay. Go the other way then. Maybe we can safely walk out the other way. Oh, oh no, I'm right here, and we lose the key automatically. Yeah, that's the thing. Because you cannot jump with these, I don't think. You cannot jump with them in your hand, so. 
So once you're holding one, I don't think you can jump. Or can we? Nope. Pressing the A button, not working. So... This is gonna be this good. This is gonna take a while. I uh, I did spend ages on this when I first played this. And it does take a long time. This. Okay, I'm safe there. Um. Okay. What about the other way? Or well, unless there are there are other ways, that's not that way. Like this way. Let's see. So I forget many things. So uh, where are we gonna take this key? Uh, ha! This looks like a safe path. No, it's not. Uh, if only there was a bridge, then we could. I don't know if it would be even safer though. No, not that way. Um, this way. Oh, I'm blocked. There's no way to let go of the key as well, so you're going to keep holding it. Just keep running around. It's all here. Okay, let's go this way. We might be able to get out this way. Okay, it looks more grassier, so I think it is this way. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe, we'll see. Might be on the... Uh, oh, no, no, the edge pushes you off. Okay, that's not safe then. How am I supposed to do this then? Yep, we are going to spend ages here. Okay. Plus, some keys are so hidden that you're going to always forget how to get to them. Because there are three keys. We know where one is. However, the others... ...are going to be so difficult. Unless... Oh, whoa, God! Oh, he fell off. Whoa! Bats. No, oh, I'm getting eaten. Let's go here. I'm safe here. Alright, you can easily shoot! Oh my god, those bats! Oh my god, I'm trying to... Some bats up here. Can I shoot bats? Can I shoot the bats? I can with the... because blood's coming out, but I don't know if I can kill them. Right, in that case, we're just going to try and get the beat, or not. We should not do it that way. Oh my god. Um. Alright then. At least we know how to get there. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Um, alright, let's just, um, uh, uh, go here. Oh, a crossbow, of course. What? Come on! Oh, of course I can aim at the zombies as well.
Okay, I can shoot the bats. Okay, that's good. Okay, I've got him. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we've got all the bats. So no more coronavirus, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, oh, 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 God. The wonkiest part is literally... Um... Alright. Now, to bring the key back. If the camera doesn't change... Because when the camera changes it, then it messes up your controls. Okay, we can we can easily take this key. Still press the B button for some reason. Um, now the hardest part with this key is taking it back. Um, Like, I don't know if we take it around here. Well, let's find out. Um, no. Oh, wait. Um, what's the bookshelf? Oh, there's bats here. No. It's just going to be on save. <sighs> this is going to be time consuming. Um, yeah. I do not really like this place, that's uh, because it's long. <sighs> Could not go that way, so our only hope is this way, through the book, through the library. Then again, the bat will hurt me, and you let go of the key automatically and you lose it. Meaning you have to go all the way back to get it. At least we know where it is, but... Yeah, even when you take fall damage, you lose it. It's messed up, isn't it? Yeah, we got the bat. Where's the other bat? Over there. Oh, crap! I was trying to get it. Ah, I got you. Got your PP. Oh, there's another one. Got you. <laughs> Alright, I don't think the bats come back, so... We should be okay getting that key back. Alright, let's get the key again. And you can shoot the keys, but nothing happens. They just... Uh, they just tip over. As if you would hit the first key with your pan. Uh, at the start of the game. Uh, oh! Oh, shit. Um, okay. Alright, hello, key! Yeah, I'm gonna try shooting it. Just that happens. It's not, it's not useful at all. Okay. Um, be careful. Oh, I thought I was going to fall down. Okay. Like the chapter after this, which is the spooky chapter we're in. Uh, but the chapter after this is going to be really epic. That we should save it for one video. Literally. Because it's really cool. But this one isn't too much, but... Yeah, because we're just going to spend like an hour in like a horror place. Okay. 
Yeah, there's zombies here. So it's going to be tricky getting past them. Oh, no. They, yep, yeah, they walk up the stairs. Oh, my God. They walk up the stairs. Oh, what? he fell through the floor. Oh, my God. Wow. I could take advantage. Like he's walking up here. Then... Then he falls down through the floor. Oh, my God. Which I'm pretty sure... We cannot walk this way. Oh crap! No! 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 Okay. I have no clue where I need to go. Um, I got an itchy ear. Is there a door this way? Uh, it seems like there's a way out that way. So I think we go there. Okay, let's go this way. Or we cannot. How am I supposed to get this key through then? If the grinders are... Oh my god. Oh wait, no, it's the other way, isn't it? Um... Wait, what? Oh, both of these are bombs, okay. How? How is this poss possible? Um, unless we go this way. So she's gone. I think we go this way. Oh crap, there, there, there's another zombie. Oh no! Oh, we're there, okay. Okay, we're here. Okay, we got it here safely. Okay, that's one. Oh, and then they open other paths, so... So we got one key. And we know where the other one is, the one in the ground, but where's the other one? Don't know. Alright, let's just, uh this quickly by just um, going through. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, no fall damage at all. That is really good. Then I'm going to grab this key. Oh, there's a lot of zombies now. Oh, no. They only... It seems like they only add zombies in parts where you can collect the key, it seems. Just to make things harder. Alright. <coughs> then again, it's kind of easy to dodge these. Christ. Yeah, it is this way where we can... Like, the sides look like we can walk through, but no, you just slide down. And again, we might be up, we might fall off anyway with it being like that. We made it to the table? Oh, shit. Another zombie. Unfortunately, the zombies do come back, so so even if you kill them before, they do come back. I think so. So it's not really good to kill them anyway. 
Alright, so we got that key. But where's the other one? That brings a ladder up to... Ooh, chocolate! Um, I know where that is. That's in Count Bacula's room. But where in Count Bacula's room? Obviously, to the chocolate, but... The chocolate's all the way up there. So it's this side. Oh, we have to be up anyway. Alright, let's climb up this to get some chocolate. Yes, yummy chocolate. Yummy chocolate, yummy chocolate. And there's the other key. Okay. Now the question is, how do we get it here? Because we know where the key... Oh my god, are you serious? The fuck? What's wrong with you, Conker? Um... I can change the camera. That would be nice. Um, okay. One, two, three, jump! Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh! What's this? It's like a bone. Looks like we can easily get out with this. The key's on the other side, though. We can still get to the key, luckily. We won't make it there, but we can make it through the ladder. Oh, shit. Oh, no! 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 Alright, we've got the key. And then... Oh, and I think this brings us down. Should. Here it does. Yeah, we've done it. Unless we get unless we get attacked by a zombie. Come and get me, zombies and now. That's the last key. Finally. Oh yeah, I forgot about those guys. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, yeah, looks like a job for Mr. Barrel again. Okay, let's get out of here. Here's the hardest Mr. Barrel moment. Because you're on an edge and it's harder. You start back in the mansion, but... Luckily, you don't have to find the keys again. If, otherwise, if you did, then you're going to have to spend another uh, crew hours of your life, just like in school, uh, to do it again. So, um... No! Oh, my God. This one's very hard. No! You can tell how difficult it is. It's so steep. Oh, God. Alright, let's try again. Come on. I'm gonna get you, motherfuckers. Okay, we got here. This part should be easy though. We're in the graveyard. We can hopefully run over zombies if we see any. And then. Yep, we can use the barrel to go to this place. Which we couldn't before, so... Can we still ride the barrel, though? No, it gets destroyed. 
Okay. Hey, what about me? Oh, cash! We might recognize this area because that thing there is it's that guy who just fell off the bridge in the, the first part of the game. We go up here. It's literally the first area we go to. Get birdie sleeping. Um... So yeah, and there's no way to get that money earlier on in the game, by the way, because there is a cage that it's behind. So there's no way you can get it yet. Until now, obviously. Which we've got it now. It's still night time here. Wait, no, this is not the area. Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back in. We get this cutscene. going to war. That's what the next chapter is going to be. It's going to be war based. Mm. We're going to do all of that chapter in the next video, but in this video we'll just get ready for it so we can make the video one hour. So we go over here and this is where it is. Eat some chocolate, lovely. Oh god. Okay then. Oh, and yep. There's gonna be a lot of war stuff in the next video. But we'll get ready for the next chapter. So, 
First, we have the men's toilet. Attached to my back. I, I, I can't see what it is. Um, oh, uh, you need to worry about that. Come on, let's go. Uh, oh, I, 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 I'm a little tired. Could you give me a hand? Just get around back there and, you know, give me a hand. Huh. Well, okay. So we need to guide him around and. Can you move, please? No. Whoa! So hitting them with the pan instantly kills him. But luckily, he will respawn from the toilet because there's plenty of them in the toilet. For some reason. Okay, guys, I'm back. My apologies there. So we're gonna make him follow me. I'll just sit here. Oh, oh, I forgot. We have to push him. Yes. So we need to. Oh, if you if he slides, it's not a good idea. So what we have to do is, we need to push this, or we'll fail. So then that way, when we slide him down, he will not die, so it makes this a lot easier. Let's knock on the door. Just gonna push him. Oh. If if he drops off the ledge, he will die there as well. So he should stop there. And then we need to take him through this way. This part is so tricky. Send him through here. Oh. Yeah, this. Oh. Yeah, going through this is very difficult. Oh. So, we might spend ages oh. on this, but. No! See there? Because if he explodes, you're gonna have to start over. And you need to bring him through. See how difficult this is. Let's go and get in. You cannot destroy the boxes. They're always there. Right. Okay. So let's push in. Kinda looks like we're playing, is it? Alright. Then, and it's a long path as well, so making this a lot more difficult. Oh my 
god. Um. Don't get crushed. I'll get it here. What? He still gets crushed? Even when it's slightly off? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? 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 Any more chocolate? Okay. Alright, here we go. So pretty much anything that hits the TNT, even if it's something minor, it will literally kill this thing. Oh my god, this is such a bitch. should be easy now because okay got this I'm gonna leave him there for a bit I don't know if that will crush him I hope it doesn't no it doesn't okay if he's is if he's, if he's much closer than it will obviously Then, oh, there we go. Stay here. You go okay. So then, what we do here is we get out of here, but we cannot eat the chocolate. Imagine a health extension in this game where you can literally have more chocolate, more than six. Kind of like in Banjo Kazooie, where you could have more honeycombs. I kind of wish they did that, but no, they don't. Unfortunately, not even later in the game you don't get an upgrade like this. We need something here. So, oh yeah, we gotta go down here. We gotta swim in the water. We gotta get these eels through here. Through these hoops. Oh my god, no. We got that. One more down there. Oh my god, are you serious? There's one more here. There. And the eel should die and operate the electric. Then a massive B button spawns on the ground. So, that means we go there. So we go there and literally just, um, you know, um, do something with it. And that is number than the bow, so what we do is we shoot him! Oh, it's an explosive. Then. He explodes. And half of that gets destroyed. So. Next, we need to get another one of these out. So then we go the other way. Which I think the other way is slightly difficult, more difficult, uh, but 
Oh well, whatever. Okay, and then we should... I can I eat the chocolate? Wow. Nah, you won't sit there, you will move on. And I believe this area has bombs that might explode. Yep, it's got these, which are very difficult to dodge. So I don't know if I should spawn them first. There isn't too many, but... I don't know if they come back. No! Jesus Christ, no. Do not. Does he come back? They do. They come back. And I'm dead. This is going to be very odd. Because they always come back. Oh, don't tell me I've got to do that first half again. Oh, no. I d why do they make it so you have to do it all again? I don't get why they do that. Like, the other path is harder. I don't get why they make you do these. I guess we'll do the other one last then, because the other side is literally easy. Because going to the left, doing like the squash areas, that's easy. This way is easy. The other way is hard. Yeah, I don't get why they make you do these. Does that also mean I have to do the B button again? I'll get it here. Oh, this is. Like, do we just um, push them around? We just push it around. Yeah, because they just stay in place. Oh. No, when does the other one spawn? Oh, the other one's there. Okay, it might be easy then. But it is harder. Oh, oh crap. Gotta be careful here. I'll get it here. Okay, when does the other spawn? About there. The other one spawns there, okay. Right, we might be safe. So we just keep him on this area. Walk him around. Oh, and around there. There we go. Got that out of the way. I'll get it here. Okay. Do we have to do the eel thing again? No, we don't. Okay. So it saves that, but not the explosion. Why? Why would it not save that? Alright. And then... There we go. Heeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
knock knock who's at the door now I'm going to push this up one oh. whoa 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 what, what just happened there apparently he died but then survived okay just dive to the ground but he's like oh he's gonna explode I thought so All right, we'll do this and then we'll finish the video off. It's been long, this video. Obviously, these these Conquer videos are getting long, obviously. Almost like movies, each videos. Which is really good. All right, let's push him this way. Get him through this way. Follow the block. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, thank God. Oh. Oh. Easily getting through there. Oh. No. Oh no. Oh, thank God. Okay. Right, leave him there. Don't go too close. Move. Right, there we go. Right, that's it. Let me just skip that. And then. Then we can just uh, go over here and then shoot it. We'll do this and then we'll finish the video off. So let's shoot him. I've seen this before. Yeah, now that is all gone. So I think we'll end things off here then, guys. So. Next time on Conquest Bad Fur Day, we will go down there and go to this guy and see what lies up ahead. So, I shall see you guys in the next video. So, Sidechain Poop out. See you guys next time. Bye!